Hello, and welcome to another customer self-service video. In this video, I will show how supplier managers can report on specific survey responses for supplier performance management projects. Currently, there are no existing prepackaged reports that provide actual survey response data. For the most part, all of the performance management prepackaged reports are scorecard based. We have seen that most users are not aware that there is a survey response fact table, much less how to report on survey responses. Using the survey response fact table, we will create a custom report on survey responses. This report will be filtered by supplier, by survey, and then by each individual respondent. So now let's go ahead and get into the system. For the purposes of this video, I have already created a report that we will review. We'll walk through the report details, how the report was built, and also how the data can be extracted and used outside of the system. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Manage, Personal Workspace, and I'm going to open up my Supplier Survey Responses report that I've already built. When I get to the Refined Data screen, I'm just going to go ahead and click Review Report. Okay, so here's the results of our report. As you can see, we have the report broken out by supplier. And then we also have the fields for the survey, the respondent, and the KPI section all on the rows so that they are grouped accordingly. So what we'll see is for each supplier and then each survey, what are the individual respondents answers to the questions for each of the KPI. You can see here that there's a column for true false responses. If one of the questions was actually a true false question, then the value that was selected will be shown in this column. Otherwise, it'll be as unclassified. I also have the report showing that showing the scorecard that these KPI scores were feeding up to, and then also whether or not this, the respondent is an internal employee or an external supplier. All right, so now I'm going to show you how this report was created. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on source data. Now, if you were creating this report from scratch, you would actually have to go to create and select analytical report, which will then in turn bring you to a screen exactly like this one. Um, you go ahead and have to give your report a title, uh, a description if, you, if you'd like to. And then for the fact table, we want to select survey response. For the data fields, I've actually just used average grade for this particular report. There are other fields available that you could also use uh, if you so chose to. So moving on to how we have this laid out. You can see I have the following four fields set up on the row, right? The supplier, the actual survey, the respondents in that survey, and then the KPI section. Moving over to the detailed fields, you can see this is where we've got the rest of the fields. KPI, what was the actual question, uh, the response to that question, you know, whether or not it was a true false response. Uh, then the scorecard that is this is tied to and whether or not the respondent is an internal employee. Make sure you have the checkbox here for show detailed fields and report. I also want to mention that you can add any other fields that you want. You can restructure this report. What I tried to do is at least provide a, a good starting point um, from what I've seen as a valuable report. Um, move, you could potentially move you know, the supplier field up to the page so that you could filter by supplier when you're refining the data. Any way you want to modify this. Again, this was meant to be as a, as a starting point. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on refine data. And then again, just gonna go ahead and run the report. So that's how the report is set up. Again, like I said, this could be modified any way you see fit. The one other thing that I would like to show you is how we can export this data and use it externally. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Actions and select Export Data. So the data will be exported to Excel. Once that's complete, we can go ahead and open up that file.
And you can see it has pulled in all the data into our table. In this file, I've went ahead and created a pivot table. So here you can see the results of the pivot table. We have the ability to drill down by specific supplier. We can see that in each individual survey, right? We can drill into whatever survey that we would like to see. Um, and then again, we've got the specific respondent. What are the KPI sections? And then for each one of the KPI, what's the actual question and the respondent's response? As you go down, you can see we get to the next respondent and the answers that they've provided. So this pivot table just allows you to drill down at whatever level you would like to see. So that's how you can create a report that will show you the specific responses to your supplier performance management surveys. Shows you how to build the report, um, what the report details look like and how you can extract it and use it in Excel. Uh, again, I want to remind you that this is really just a, a good starting point. You can